My name is Greg Kowalczyk. I'm instructor for this Udemy course. I have a PhD in chemistry and I've been teaching chemistry for over 20 years at a university. I'm currently retired and the course that I put here on Udemy is a first semester general chemistry course that covers all the topics that I covered when I taught the course at the university. Anybody who takes this course at the end of this course will have learned all the topics that you're going to learn in any general chemistry course. So this course is tailor made then for students who need to take a course at the university level who have never taken chemistry in high school or have taken it a while ago and need a review. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and look at the specific topics that are covered in this course. So starting in section one, we will start by defining chemistry, followed by looking at the scientific method. Then we'll get into the classification of matter and looking at physical and chemical properties of matter. Mathematical applications then follow with measurements and units, significant figures, dimensional analysis, and then the application to density. In section two, we're going to be looking at atomic structure, atoms, molecules, and ions. Some historical information first on atomic theory, followed by atomic number, atomic weight, symbolism, putting atoms together to form chemical formulas, and then looking at the periodic table of the elements identifying and distinguishing between molecular and ionic compounds, and then learning how to name ions, ionic compounds, acids, and molecular compounds as well. Section three brings us into our study of substances and solutions. First, we'll be looking at the molecular weight, followed by mole concept, including Avogadro's number. Mole-mole conversions and percent composition of compounds will then follow, determining empirical molecular formulas, and then we're going to look at solutions, molarity, a concentration of solutions, and how to dilute solutions. In section four, we get to the heart of chemistry with stoichiometry. First, we're going to learn about writing and balancing chemical equations and introducing electrolytes, non-electrolytes, ionic equations. Area of chemical compounds, acids and bases will next be introduced, followed by metathesis reactions and oxidation reduction reactions. We then get into the chemical arithmetic called stoichiometry, which includes limiting reactants and percent yield. Following that, we'll look at titrations and combustion analysis. Section five, we look at thermochemistry, how energy is related to chemical reactions. Our topics include our basics of energy, heat and temperature, followed by heat capacity and calorimetry. We then introduce state functions, including enthalpy, talk about heats of reaction, Hess's law, and standard heats of formation. Section six, we begin, begin to look at the electron structure of the atom and specifically the electron. We're going to start by looking at the electromagnetic spectrum, followed by the quantum numbers, and then introducing the electron configuration of the atoms. Valence electrons will be introduced here, and then we'll look at periodic properties of the elements from the periodic table. Effective nuclear charge is going to be introduced and then we're going to be using that and other items to look at the atomic and ionic radii, ionization energies, and electron affinity. Starting in section seven, we're going to be looking at bonding. We'll de define ionic and covalent bonding and then look at bond polarity and electronegativity. We'll introduce Lewis dot structures for valence electrons and formal charge and resonance. We'll look at strength of covalent and ionic bonds, then molecular shapes and molecular polarity. Moving on to section eight, we'll be looking more at covalent bonding, specifically the theories, valence bond theory and molecular orbital theory. Along the way, we'll look at hybridization and multiple bonds as they apply to valence bond theory. And then we'll wrap things up in section nine with gases. Gas pressure will be introduced. We'll look at a number of gas laws. We'll come up with the combined and ideal gas laws. Dalton's law of partial pressure. We'll come back to stoichiometry as it applies to gases. We'll look at effusion and diffusion, kinetic molecular theory of gases and non-ideal gas behavior. So now it's up to you. All you need to do is sign up for the course to begin to learn chemistry.